on. Sorry, wrong one. This one's actually a playoff game coming from the Hooligan division. Let's get back to it. All right, lads, cue it up. Okay, here we are. We're back into season 11 of the Nats. They've come back to the Hogan Division, the playoffs. Well, as they said, everything will got nicely put on delay, but they just like, you know what, let's get this over with here. So you see here, it's two of the four teams that did qualify for the Hogan Division playoffs. And whoever is the winner of the Hogan Division completely does get one of the 16 tickets into the big playoffs of season 11. Of the Nats, see, not complicated whatsoever. I don't even need to draw a diagram or anything. So you can see here, Helga rated slightly tall Avelings, Wood Elves versus the Ogres. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, probably just about everything, but you know what? We're here. Let's get this done. Let's turn this around. As you can see here, the Wood Elves, as was mentioned before, they have thrived in the Lurgan Division because, quite frankly, they've been able to, through sheer gumption and luck, recover. That's been their big difference so far, and it's a huge difference because, frankly, not only did they, were they totally destroyed when they came in, they've gotten away with win after win that they had no right getting, but that's nothing for you, and it's meant they've even been able to build up, they've even bought a treatment of all things, they've even got rerolls, they've even got money, they've even got women liking them. Of course, I think the women are liking them because they got money. That would be the truth of it right there, as from sister. So, the Ogres, they're not too happy about drawing this as the first draw, but you know what? It is what it is. Silence! I kill you! And they're going to get themselves good and solidly right back in the job. And there's nothing wrong with that. So, here they are seeing, can they do something? go early use of the apothecary to save the kicker well i guess he doesn't like getting his team destroyed this early there you go both down decides he wants to re-roll that well he's got four re-rolls you might as well down goes the tree timber ish no you're not gonna take it. come on you can drop them no why it's because no one's got the football so he's having to protect it there's the bonehead unfortunately and it looks like it's gonna be one of those games all right here yeah, come the snotly lads, running back. And he decides he doesn't even want to risk picking up the ball because of these wankers. Well, no surprises there. Here we come, quick blitz away from the brave, brave Wood Elf. I get the snotling for two dice. Push me, push you. And meanwhile, the rest of the Wood Elves are just going to storm in. Uh, because they are brave, they are fearless, and picking all defenses, snotling seems to be their thing. Well, so far, oh, look, he took a route. That's good to see, because we don't need you doing anything on towards in this game. And moving back down the field, so far, so good. If anyone's asking here, yeah, the camera seems to be having its fun. Well, that's typical of Blood Bowl, isn't it? Okay. So we're not going to look at anything on this side, apparently. Ogis come running back here because they're so well, they've got to do something about this insult. That's unfortunately just a push me, push you. Well, didn't expect much was going to happen with that one. And he's going to at least protect the ball. Again, this thing's not letting me go over. Okay, so I can never move this way. All right. Elgus moving back down the field. And it looks like they, they might have to plan on actually getting this ball, but right now his tactic is <laughs> generally keep the ball somewhat there. And now here it comes. It's that time of the year. 
to do sweet bugger all, unfortunately, as they fail their head off. Oh, well, there you go. So much for that one. <laughs> all right, Wood Elves. Should be fairly easy to go get this ball one way or the other way. Yep, someone's remembered the whole rule about Titchy, finally. Solid smack, down he goes. Easy dodge through. And then of course he trips because he's a wanker. Finish him! Now oh, he makes the second dodge away, there he goes. Ball is lost really solid. And then of course he fails the next one. No! Well, we'll keep an eye on the play here, Elgus. Well, it's turn three. It's certainly an early game here. As they would mention, they have cleared out two of the annoying elves. And they are bringing themselves back into play. Oh, they seem to have fixed that malfunction with the camera. Oh, focus, don't I love you for... Ah, yeah, it, you, you caught up a perfectly good game. Okay. Well, the Snotlings are keeping an eye on this, you know, handsome little fellow. Two die, solid it. Could you die, please? Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, you'll be here all week. It needs to be about 20% cooler. Yeah, good enough. He's the way he should be. As you can see, immediately the second Apothecary. Yeah, you saw that right. He's hired two Apothecaries for this game. And, of course, the Bleeding Wankers decided to, you know, actually Apothecary the Wall Dancer. Well, that's three annoying one else cleared off the pitch. Let's see if he can make it four, five, you know, collect the entire set. Well, dodge this. As you can see, pretty much the entire Elgin team's down here protecting the ball. Which is kind of driving the elves nuts because, you know what, they actually like to go get the ball. Uh, the Elgin's are just simply not cooperating. And fine, I'm glad they're not. Okay, here we go. Three elves pick on the fine and upstanding ogre. And they do seem to get somewhere. And here come more nine point here. Nipiers. Makes the dodge away. No surprise he succeeds. And he'll keep sniffing away. As for the rest of the team. Uh, light elf screen, if you can call it that. How about you, Sunshine? You coward, come back here. And we're back to the ogres. Okay, well, I have to go chasing after the little wheely bastards. As you can see, supporters not realizing the game is on. No one has shown up for this game. Empty seats, no surprise. All right, three dice, solid smash. Could we see a death here, please? Ah, it's only a KO, huh? Well, we'll work with that. Uh, well, that's cleared off both war dances of all things. Suddenly, things don't look quite as bad. Oh, look, the ogre's even got the ball. Can we start marching down the field? Yes, there we are. A sun and zones this way. You've only got four turns to walk it down. I'll put the phone here behind the scenes. That's fine. Uh, I guess the snotlings are going to be setting up the screen. Not the original plan, but you know what? It's the plan now. All right, everyone's bringing it up here. All right, let's see what this little bastard can do. Of course, defenseless Snotling, it's what he does best. But Snotling, fortunately, does get out of the way. Good lad, okay. Oh, look, the tree's back up. Just remember, as everyone says, if a tree falls in the forest, does anyone really care? Not me. Toothpicks for everyone. If the Wood Elves actually, you know, cared about the other races, but typical Elves that they are, not really. I think the world rotates around them, which we know Kallus is not true, according to the Dwarves. Alright, solid attack here, there you go, two doys, can I hear yeah, resounding crunch please? No, no, no crunch this time. Ah. <sighs> Right. Okay. Well, we can bring other teams here. 
Uh, unfortunate build here, did a bad position there. Well, you do have to start launching the bolts. Turn five, you do need to stop going this way. All right, lad, let's stop bringing up the uh, exchange here. There you go. Well, it's only a square, unfortunately. You've got plenty more to go, and you've only got three turns to do it. You might have wanted to move further. Now, well, here come the rest of the snotling crew. Watching down the field. Oh, laying the boot in. Oh, well. I know the elves don't think that's really nice, but you know what? It doesn't matter what you think! Ah, and there he goes. He's truly stunned. Constable of course, not calling that one because it's only an elf. Hey! But elves getting back in a position here now. They're actually trying to take this a little soonest by actually setting up a screen. Ah, it looks like it's a screen after fashion here. Meanwhile... Bit of grabbing. Bit of pushing. Can we get back on the screen there? Thank you. I love your client focus. Okay, so remaining Wood Elves are unfortunately holding up the heroic team here. So would you kindly get out of the way, you bit of pisses? Thank you very much. Now, if you're really serious, this ogre's actually all now moved to here. Push me, push you, no surprises. How about you? More, push me, push you. Well, he's boneheaded, but that's no surprises at this point. And you, Sunshine, not there. No, seriously, you've got... Never mind. I guess his plan is give it to a snotling and throw. Well, you know, we could have walked all the way very easily. Makes me think, yeah, the coach is a wee bit out of practice. All right, let's put the boot in. Surprise, motherfucker. Unfortunately, the snotling just doesn't have enough weight to him to even break the slender bones of a wood elf. You, however, well, it's not quite enough. Submit! Well, it's not happening yet. But there goes a the little punter right through. Bless your son. And now the Wood Elves are going to go pick on the defense with Snotley again because they're just so manly that way. Let me push you. Let's get out of the way here. Good lad. And the Wood Elves are going to go back into their screening defense just to prevent the Ogres from getting any crazy ideas. There we go. Treeman it. And the treatment moves in because, well, why not? The survivor. Well, he gets away. Of course he does. He remembers Fontley Titchy. It's an easy dodge. And he makes the rest of his dodge away. He's yawn, bloody yawn. All right, turn seven. Well, you've made it a lot more difficult to actually score. Unless you somehow make a hole and get the ball to him. Push me, push you. Not the answer he wants right now. And yeah, now you can see, well, he's well behind marching down the field now. It looks like now it's all going to go into the Snotlings. I'm not exactly sure I advise that as a good idea, but like I said, some of these coaches are a wee bit rusty when it comes to running the teams with the precision we're used to, because what we've been busy with the WCQ. Well, now he has to run away. He's got no choice. Uh, unfortunately, the elves can easily catch up on that little pursuit. Meanwhile, it's time. <laughs> Well, that's going to hurt in the morning. Uh, unfortunately, I think Constable Ed actually caught that one, didn't he? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, he actually does have to make some things a little fair because he says that's been three cracks at it. He's got to remove you. I'm sorry. League regulations. Now, nah, here we go. As predicted, charges in. Picks on him. He gets them, of course he does. See, this is why you need to be further down the field, lad. You put all your, you put it all in the one snotling, 
And you knew that was going to happen. You needed to already have your team down here. You had a chance. Didn't do it. And uh, now you're paying for it. Like I said, this is what happens when the coaches have gotten a wee bit out of practice. And the Elkus kind of just lost track of what turn it was. Well, they can still how it to the guy down the field. And I guess that's plan B. And that is exactly what they're doing. It is time for plan B. All right, let's see what he can do with this one here. Oh, God. Well, I think, unfortunately, well, the cameraman's just still looking at in shock. You can't believe they spiked that one up. I, I think the problem is the poor team's just uh, practice. They can't even remember what the basic play is anymore. You're gonna re-roll that, you coward! Oh, fine. Let's try that. Solid hit. Let's see, does it do anything? No, not really. But unfortunately for everyone, that is the end of the first half. Well, that was bloody annoying, wasn't it? <laughs> so that's what we were expecting to see. Some amazing play here by the Snotlings, but the Elves are just not cooperating. Alright, let's get back to it. Let's turn this one around here. Surprisingly, at the end of the first half, the score is nil-nil. So, still a full repertoire. He's got the three reserves. He's got the one unfortunate ejection. Well, sorry, he had to reject one of them. As for the Wood Elves, frighteningly, they have all their players back. So it just goes to show you how lucky his dice rolls have been today. Because you saw that, he had to blow both the both Gettys. He had multiple KOs, every one of them made it in. So that means, yes, the Wood Elves, unfortunately, do get to put in a full roster. Let's actually take a look at the skills of the team. As you can see, the incredible recovery shown by these Wood Elves since coming into the Illigan Division. Bet they cheated. And they've built themselves up quite a phenomenal set of skills. Disgustingly, lots of tackle. As for the Ogre team, well, he has acquired a few interesting level ups on the Ogres, and he's got one or two useful snotlings. Ah, uh, yeah, it's fine, plug, we need this. Oh, you touch my ta la la. Mmm, my ding ding dong. Yeah, so that kickoff result, even the tree can move one square. Basically, the tree can only make 50% bonus movement. Disgusting, isn't it? You would think you'd have to roll take root on that one. No, of course not. It's one of the few times the stupid bugger actually gets to move and there's no fear. So the elves, cowards that they are, I'll get out of the way. Uh, as you can see, yeah, the Wood Elves have the ball. Anything exciting you're going to do with it? No, of course not. He's going to wait until his Elves in position. Look, there's only one good position for a Wood Elf. Right here, dead. To science. Well, cheeky attack there. They do get away with it. Making use of the strength increase. And he's away. We have an Ogre down. And here come the rest of the Wood Elves. Sprinting down the field, looking for that quick score. It would have been a different situation if the Ogres had actually figured out how to score the thing. Well, the Elves have everything well and truly in hand. The Ogres are going to have to figure out, well, what they're going to do about that. Well, here's a suggestion. How about you kill them? Like, normally I wouldn't preach that kind of violence, but it is Wood Elves. <laughs> so, yeah, absolutely. Re-rolls the fail. Because he wants those three dice to work. Solid punch. Can we hear yeah, cracking of the bones here? No? No cracking of the bones? Not today? Ooh, you suck! Yeah, that sums up the one fan who does attend the games. Now, Elgus do get back up. Oh, there's something we like to see. A 
broke your stupid crap, moron! Unfortunately, it's only stunned, probably because of the namesake. No surprise there. It's all the bamboo padding. And the ogres, what they'd like to do something to this tree, but it's not happening. And it's still not happening there. Don't you understand? There's all those supporters looking for lollipops, and they need sticks. Well, there he is. Just got to cut them down the size a wee bit. Did someone bring a hatchet? No? Bugger. Oh, Christ, this one's going completely pissed up. Okay. What else moving themselves back along the field here? Well, it looks like it is time for the glory pass play. Again, start it off probably with a handoff, though. Nope, you saw it's actually do it as a pass. Uh, that's basically my feeling about it, you know. I could give him a sing. No. And then, of course, you know, you beat up on a defensive snotling. And then you make a halfling. And then, well, you score in. It's like we care. All right, no surprise. Oh, well, we know what the Lord's Sport has to say about that one. Fuck you. Yeah, well, we can hear him. You know, he's bragging away as we speak. Bloody disgusting elves. Okay. We got a one unfortunate ejection. Ogres are in good shape, but they do really wish they had that one touchdown. Well, it's now 1 0 in favor of, well, the slightly taller Avalanche. God, that leaves a sour taste in the mouth, the insane man. Okay, well, there we go. Here's the kick. Goes to wind. Well, I guess the one spot in the sand here has got flatulence. Unfortunately, it's a perfect onside kick. Now, this is going to cause the Ogres no end of problems. They're going to have to move the team over and defend the ball one more time. And this time, which you kindly remember to move the ball this way, son. Because, you know, end zone's over here. In fact, unfortunately forgotten during the drive. And, of course, he starts himself off with, you've got it, a bonehead. Followed by another bonehead. Crap! What, would someone like to do something? Yeah, it's this one. It's two dice, it's a push. Fat, sweet, bugger all. Ah, he just pushes them to the sidelines. He's got nothing better to do. Does not move any further. Well, there's a defective elf. It's still alive. He goes for the big risk. Does knock the tree down. Well, at least something went right. And now, here he goes. Tech the ball. And that's about it. Decides not to risk the foul because, well, reasons. Well, sad to say here, this should be an easy solution here for the elves. Let's see how they do it. Yeah, here he comes, blitzing in defenseless snotling because you're such a brave, brave man. Giggity, giggity, giggity. All right. And then moves along. Oh, let's see. A AG5. What are the odds he's going to try and pick up the ball? No, because he's a coward. Doesn't even try. Okay, rest of the team. Amazingly here. Well, he's ready for it popping out sometime here. So the Ogres are going to have to change tactics, get the ball properly to one of the Ogres, and just aggressively run it down the field. At least that's the theory anyway. It'd be a smart theory, but we saw how that worked last time. Yes, I'm being a bit critical, aren't I? I've been casting World Cup matches, so suddenly I come back to the Ilgan Division. It's like a brand new face. It's like, what the fuck are the cops doing? I know it's a bit cruel, but it's it's my love for the team. They might be cunts, but they're my cunts, okay? So if you don't like it, piss off. Meanwhile, suck it, logging on, tree. Well, he decides he's sick and tired of all the boneheads. Does move a few more players into position. And so, the power of Titchy, let's get out of the way. Bit more movement. Risks another one. There you go. Everyone gently gets away. And he pox got in the ball. Decides not to risk trying to pick it up. So, once again, well, the brave and fearless. Hell yeah! 
Help stop well picking on Snotlings again because, like I said, it's about what they amount to. All right, come on, solid kick. Unfortunately, run, cowards! Is he going to try and pick up the ball this time? Look, AG5, he can do it. It's not that hard. See, there we go. Of course he gets it, because he's AG5. Easy leap, he's out. Hands the ball off, yada, 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 yada. There we go. Damn, I'm good. And there he is. It's in for another one quick. Ah, <sighs> sigh. Oh my god, who the hell cares? You got that right. Okay, let's get this back here. Come on, let's go. All right, Elgus, you're back on the offense again. You're going to have to change your tactics up here because this is going to keep happening. You've got to give the ball to an Elgus and then dare the little bastard to actually show some courage for once and go get it. Once again, almost perfect onside kick. That does the job. And the Snotlings are going to get back to it. Of course, at this point, like I said, Coach has probably gotten so focused on the World Cup qualify, he's just forgotten how to change this team up. And let's face it, it was very disappointing first half. Things did not work the way they should have. And, well, there you go. Okay, Ogres. Stop getting on face now and watching the WCQ cast. I haven't filed it yet, you twat. Yeah, I think that's the problem. <laughs> Old bloody team's got their sucking iPhones. All right, there you go. Snotling's got the ball. Runs forward. See, there you go. And no, 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 no. I do cocaine! Yeah, I bet he's doing something all right. Okay, here we go. It's the crazy play. It is time, lads. Let us go. <laughs> No, 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 wrong. Oh, God, what can I say? Stupid idiot. Sigh. You got one job, lad. One fucking job. Ah, well, there they go. Well, it's a swarm attack. Wood elves once again all over the ball. Yada, yada, yada. Gee, let me guess, you're going to go pick it up, aren't you? Of course you are. And now he's got it. Now he's running away with it. Today's going to suck! That sums it up. Come on. Here come the rest of the Wood Elves running through. How about you, lad? Yeah, you too. Come on, yeah. That's it. Yep, yeah, Sully remembers his Titchy. Hey! Easily runs away. La di da di da di da di da. How about you? Would you like to join the party too? Of course you would. Passing through. Yeah, would you like to join this circle jerk? Come on, you wanker. Get over here. Are you happy now? Puss. Okay, Ogus, well, you've only got one option here. Well, you're gonna have to do it. There you go. Sorry. Sloppy. Well, you can blitz a hole through, depends how you feel. Right now, I feel like Wood Elf tonight. Can we at least see something? Now, Flag gets back up. That's the unfortunate misfire from the Ogre Cannonade. Opportunity player. Well, you might as well at this point here. And of course he trips. Mistake! Well, not what you can do when you double one it. Yeah, you can see it right there. Double ones. Well, that's his day. 
And once again, bravely the Wood Elves attack a defenseless Snotley because they're such men. And there you go. That's easy! It's in one more time. Oh, God. Yeah, what you do? You know, what can you do about it? Okay, here's the one ejection. Well, he's going to get a free beer from me, lad. And you did your part. It's just not taking, is it? Okay, here we go. As you can see here, you know, no one's attending this game. Like I said, no one posted this game was happening. Well, someone suspects a Woodolf client was to blame for that one. And of course they get a re-roll because, well, they do need a re-roll. Yeah, of course they do. You just made the list! Well, he definitely has. I'll have to ask old Dwarf Cousins to get on that because these elves are getting airs of competence. I'll have to correct that, preferably with a good solid fisting. Trade down. Oh, look, he actually did something to the bloody thing. He stunned it. Now, with the rest of you kindly, I'll go and die. I can do that. No, you can't. It's still alive. I can see him. He's twitching. That's not dead. All right, Snotling. Got the ball. Good lad. All right, hand the ball off. Also good lad. All right. What's the plan now? Are we going to try this one more time? Okay, can we do it right this time? Come on, let's do it, lads. He did it! He finally did it! Exactly, I completely agree with the yoga coach on that one. Could not say it better than that. Thank you, thank you so much. All right, so 3 1 back on the board. It's probably too late, I'm sorry to say, lads. Oh well, at least you made a bit of a game of it there. <laughs> now, thanks to these cowardly wankers. So, we're gonna have to examine the rules here about entering into the Lucan division. Someone's clearly violating the rules as we speak. Stinks of credit cards, I tell you that. All right. Well, two turns. Wouldn't surprise me if the Wood Elves can put another one on the board. But let's see what happens. Yay! Finally, it's about bloody time. Okay, can we actually go get them? All right, lads, are you ready? Let's, are we going to go over the top? Okay, here we go. Step one, kill elves. Yeah. <laughs> Cannot say it any more brilliantly than that. Oh, come on, you wanker. Get off the cell phone. All right, well. Here we go. Da, da, da. Crash landing. Oh, crap. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, that was a good try. Thank this person in his stupid cell phone. New rule. Do not let the ogres take their phones on the bloody field. Like I said, World Cup qualifies. The bastards are too busy watching. This is what happens when you don't keep up with the broadcasts. Your players stop doing this. Lesson to you. Out, ball lands. All right, Elves. Well, you might as well get this one down the field. As usual, typical Elf dickery. He's picking on defensive slotlings again. Silence! I kill you! Oh, he's down. Not surprised. Okay. Holes open, way open, just the way she likes it. Oh, God. No, no, I don't even want to say it. No. Uh, phrasing? 
Nope, not saying it. Piss off. I'm too depressed. Alright. Finally, one elf actually shows he does have one Kahona. And he's in going and actually takes on an ogre. Oh, look, he fails to get the ball. We must overreact immediately. But unfortunately, he has a reroll, undeserved as it is. There's the throw. Uh, and he's got it. Uh, now he's running away with a ball. That was strangely arousing. No, it's not. Uh, that is, though, absolutely. What's done is done. Unfortunately, there's not a single port bucket out here. He can actually go take the ball because he's put everything in trying to get the blitz. <sighs> well, that happens. Not surprised. Ah, defective elf again. Okay, let's move it on. Third 15, sad to say, his team, well, he's got no one in position. They've got to do something about this. Skull! That's typical. Dummy! Yeah! He even stuns himself in the process. Oh, well, so much for that great effort. Oh, well, that's probably it. Okay, well, would you like to hurry up and score this thing? No, you're going to go pick on more defense with Snotlings because you're such a man. No, you're going to pick on two of them because, again, same reason. See? That didn't work. Let it go! Let it go! Cannot hold it back anymore! Let it go! Let it go! Fuck it all! Fuck it all! Don't give a shit anymore! Fuck it all! Fuck it all! Flip the table, screw you all! Yes, I sense the broadcast is a wee bit biased towards this game, don't you? Well, if you don't like it, don't fucking watch it. Okay. Ah, uh, Wood Elves bravely and heroically fleeing for their lives. And they're going to go hide in the back because that's just what they do. Alright, there we go. Let's get this kick over with. No. You know what? I got one little thing, the last thing to throw at this bloody elf team. How thoroughly they suck. Do I have it somewhere here in me? One of your snotlings had to have brought one of them. No? Oh, crap. All right, we don't have one with us. Okay, let's kick the ball and... I had to celebrate that one, sorry. <laughs> well fucking deserved. <laughs> Alright, well, what can he do? Well, that's a bit of a push along. Get out of my way. Uh, the rest of them, well, there we go. Back on the face, back on the bloody bones on face gnome again. Checking out the latest results. Can we get another good bone crunch here, please? Hulk! Smash! More boneheads. Well, this has just not been his day for it, has it? Alright. Okay, what's the plan? You gotta get the ball, get it to him, run over, throw it, throw snotling. At least get another one on the board, here's the plan. And of course that one fails. And there you have it. All the playoff games in there. There you it's it's a sad state of affairs. 4-1. It's nothing really you can do about it. Sometimes nothing really gets you. And also, you got to admit, you know, some of the teams haven't played for a little bit, so they're a wee bit rusty about all the different strategies and tactics they can do. And quite frankly, you know, let's face it, he had to change up tactics and start giving the balls to the Ogres and off and running. He didn't do that. He still trusted in certain skills, certain snotlings, and, well, you know, brave, brave coach the, you know, Havelings have. And you saw how they acted. Well, I've got one thing to say about that. 